Hello and this is Harold again and with another Cubase tutorial video. I would like to show you today just the basic features of the core track. I won't go too much into detail, we'll only show you the basic features and there's plenty room or plenty features for more videos on that. The core track itself I put here in the top of the my Cubase and um, here you can type in or write in the chords you want to use as maybe a notepad or you want to use in your song. When you right click and go to the pencil you can draw here the first blank space and then you can double click on it and you see the editor. Here you can select what kind of chord you want. You have the root note, the kind of chord you want, major, minor, diminished, suspended, uh, some tensions you want to use and the bass note. Here you can select if you want to for example have the C over G as an inversion. So if you click on the little plus here, you will jump to the next bar and you can select the next chord. Let's go to the F, go to the G and go back to the F. So how do we listen to these chords now? Uh, you have two possibilities. You can select in the drop down menu any of the sounds you have in your arranger, any of the tracks or you go to moni use monitor tracks. That means whatever track you selected will play these chords. So I select the piano go back to the top here you have your chords but be careful with that because if you use here uh, the drums and uh, has the use monitor tracks on then the drums will play the chords so there will be randomly played uh, notes or drum sounds from the chords Okay, um, I'm not using that very often. Most of the time I use another feature which is dragging and dropping the chords onto the track I want to play. So here you have the track and here you can then change it or apply some MIDI editors or whatever you want to do. And what you can see here is that the F is played differently um, in the second bar than in the fourth bar. So what I have here is I have the adaptive voicing on. If you go to the chord track here, you select adaptive voicing, select adaptive voicing. That means um, the chord is played differently depending on what chord is played before this one. Okay, another interesting feature is when you select um, a track and want to play live to the track and you don't know how to play the tracks, you can select um, in the track here on the left side in inspector chord, you can select live transform chords. So what you can do here is you simply play um, only the, for example, the C major chord on your keyboard and the track will follow the chords on the chord track. Let me show you this. Um, you can see here on my keyboard, I'm playing only the C major. Uh, let me change first my latency. Oh, it's okay, it's like this. So I have the live transformation on. This is like the count in, and then I can record and play whatever I like, and the chord track will follow. I will only play here the C major. Okay, I missed one, no problem, uh, but you get the idea, whatever you play here, uh, the chords will follow uh, depending on uh, the chord track. So let's go here. Yep. Quantize it, then you have the chords here and play it live with it. I only played the C major. You can do the same with the bass, for example, and then it will follow also the chords and uh, let's take a bass, let's take this one and uh, if I play the root note the bass will follow on the little, uh, only the root note but if I play uh, for example the third or the fourth or the fifth or whatever tension I want to play it will also follow in the chord. So let me show you this. Mm. 
Here you can see how the bass line is following the chords and is following also um, the way I played it. So I played the third and I played the fifth and it's following the chords. I only played it on the C major, I only played the C, the uh, E and the G. That's all I played. Okay, another interesting thing is when you go to a track, let's mute this. And when you select this track, let's go to the piano track. And um, on here on the live transformation, um, follow chord track. And you say follow chords. And it will follow directly the chords you have here. So whenever you change a chord, let's go now from the F major, say to the F minor, it will follow this on your already used track here. So whenever you change a chord here, let's go here. So whatever you use here, the chord track or the track itself will follow the chord track. Okay, this will only give you a rough idea of what you can do with the chord track here. I'm going into detail uh, more in another video. For example, when you go here in the chord track and you want to insert a new chord, you have the possibility to use the chord assistant. And this chord assistant here gives, gives you the possibility to choose from different, um, say, cadences or um, from different uh, voicings. And you can also select interesting chords with a circle of fifth or the proximity that means the closer a chord is uh, to the original chord you're coming from, like the A minor here, um, the more it's standard, the more you go away from this chord, the more it's, well, not, not chassy, but the more interesting it is. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Um, click like or subscribe, leave any comment, uh, whatever comment it is, uh, if you have question, simply leave the comment and I will check back to you and give you another video if you have some interesting questions for me. So that's it for now. Goodbye, this is Harold.